or gathering is a fellowship. Ikakata rin kami, napagaling na lang doon, eh, sama-sama sila. Diba? Mayroong business, may networking. So, alamin natin kung ano sabihin na fellowship. Eto, may isang mga picture. Eto, fellowship pa ito ka hindi? O yan, sure. Sure yan, fellowship yan. Nakasulat na yan. No? Alright, thank you God. Alright. Okay, so, so much for that. So let's talk about fellowship. No? So meron dalawang tanong tayong pag-uusapan. Okay? This is for the purpose ng lahat sa atin. Okay? Para hindi lang elder leaders na nakakalam what is the meaning of fellowship. But you as well should also know what is the meaning of fellowship. Why? Ano yung meron dapat sa loob ng fellowship? Ano yung dapat yung ina-expect natin? Hindi lang yung parang kainan, Bible study, and all those things. Hindi lang ganun yan. Okay? So, number one na dapat natin na malaman is what is the biblical meaning of fellowship? Okay? Where, saan ba natin makikita yung fellowship sa Bible? Or saan ba pinag-uugatan ito? Kasi lahat dapat ay merong pinag-uugatan. Amen? Pangalawang tanong is, ano yung kahalagahan? What is the significance or kahalagahan ng fellowship? Okay? So, pakisabi muna sa sa katabi natin o kaharap ninyo, Hello, Shep. Hello, Shep. Kasi pag-usapan natin yung fellowship, di ba? So, pag-usapan sa tuya, Hello, Shep. Okay, pag-usapan nyo, ay siguro katabi nyo, Mount Ben. So, pag-usapan nyo, pag-usapan sa mga katabi natin, who ship yung mga katabi natin, sabihin nyo, Hello, Shep. Alis nyo yung letter, kaya ka, di ba, English na, Hello, sabi nyo, kalimitan, pag fellowship, it means fellow, magkakaparehas in a ship. It means you have one-minded. Pero lahat na, hindi lahat ng nasa bago ay magkakaisang ugali or isa or united. Tama? Pero kung lahat tayo ay tupa, okay, or ship, pala-paraas tayo. Tama ba? Okay? So, means tayo ako dito. Kaya sabi nyo sa sabi nyo, hello ship. Okay, next time. Hindi pa naman, gusto ko gusto. Ito na yung tura nila. Yung gabi, hindi ko nga nang nagmang kapayla siya namin. Okay, tapos pagkatapos ng gano'n, nahihiyaan yung tura. Alright. Sige, so buksan natin natin yung mga Bible in Acts chapter 2, verse 42 to 47. Sige, so paano nalaman natin? Okay. Para hindi lamang tayo atin ang atin ng fellowship or ng gathering without knowing parang may kulang sa fellowship na ito. Nagtataba kayo na kung matin kayo na isang fellowship or gathering or like a fellowship na church. Kaya sa tapang ninyo sa parang may kulang. Diba? Have you experienced that? Na kung matin kayo ng fellowship, tapos sa parang may kulang dun eh. Pero nung matin kasi ibang church, ah, I find satisfied or complete. Diba? Okay. So, make sure natin na ang katabi natin ay ship, hindi kambing. Tanong lang pala. Tanong lang. Paano mo nalaman kung kambing? Sa atin, paano mo nalaman pag kambing? Ay, yung sungay. Malabas sa mga sungay. Hindi, paano mo nalaman pag kambing? Pag-usapan natin sa fellowship natin, sa fellowship na ito. Okay, sa mga rest of ito. Paano mo malalaman na ay kambing siya? Kapag kambing si kapatid? Paano? Kumakain lang kung yan ang uya? Kumakain na ito mo? Okay, okay. Na? Balbas. Nagmime? Okay, nagmime? Mime na mime? Okay. O ito ha? Ma? Maamo ang kambi? Maamo. Malalaman nyo kapag kambi, okay, yung mga nasa fellowship nyo, alam nyo kung ano, sabi na si Sandy, kapag puro me. Kapag puro me, puro sa akin na lang, sa akin, puro siya na lang yung, yung ano, siya na yung focus, siya na lang, siya na lang, siya na lang, tapos siya na lang lang yung lahat. Me. Eh, paano pang ship? Ano pang sinasabi ng ship? Di ba pag-ship? Ba? Pag-sabi sa tuloy niya, ba? 
Diba? Okay, kasi kapag nag-board ng may ng may ba? Ba? Diba? Ba? Diba? Pag kamay, may puro sa akin. Pag pag-cheat na, ba? Okay? Alright. So, buksan natin. Acts chapter 2. 2, verse 42 to 47. Basahin natin. Unti-unti natin ito. So, this word started about the fellowship. Okay? Acts was written okay, by Luke. Okay? Alright. So, it's, in verse 42 it says here, And they steadfastly persevered, devoting, say devoting, or devoted, themselves constantly to the instruction and fellowship of the apostles to the breaking of bread, including the Lord's Supper, and prayers. Verse 43, And a sense of awe or reverential fear in the fellowship okay, came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were performed through the apostles, or the, through the special messenger. <coughs> and all who believe, who adhere to and trust in the light on Jesus Christ. Ito ay amplified version, okay? And all who believe were united, okay? Or together, they have everything in common. And they sold their possession and distributed the price among all according as any had needed. And day after day, they regularly assembled in the temple with united purpose, and in their homes they broke their bread, they partook of their food with gladness and simplicity and generous hearts. In verse 47, look at this. Constantly praising God and being favored and goodwill with all the people, and the Lord kept adding daily who were being saved. So let's all pray together. Ang noon, sa mga ito, kami nagpapasalamat, O God, for the fellowship that we have, Right now, God, because we have a fellowship, a common union with you, God, Jesus. That's why we're able to have a fellowship to one another as you have given us a fellowship with you, O God, Jesus. And thank you, God. And all this we pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let everybody say, Amen. Amen. So, what is the meaning of, or what is the biblical meaning of fellowship? As the basa natin, in verse 44, sabi doon, common. Okay? Merong Meron something in common, okay? In here, you cannot join a fellowship if you don't believe what we are believing. Tama ba? Kaya siguro maaaring hindi lahat nagpupunta sa isang fellowship because maaaring hindi sila magkakatugma ng kanilang pananampalataya. Most of the time, we hear in the fellowship, fellowship is happening, it's more about the spiritual world. Okay? You're not gonna hear other people or outside world to say, alright, let's have a, nyari, let's say, may, may inuman na kaya, kay pare, kay pare, no? Uy, parang, may inuman na kaya, okay? Hindi pwede siya kung tawag doon, okay? Meron nung, meron nung may, ano, may either may gathering, okay? Or may, uh, may panayaan. Konti-konti tayo sa mamaya. May ganun, may konti-konti tayo sa halo-salo mamaya. O, alam mo na yun, okay? Pag fellowship, you are really broadcasting that we have a fellowship tonight, okay? So, as I said, we're not going to be able to do that. Sometimes, when we're not a allergic to that fellowship. So, it's true, isn't it? When I was, before I became a believer, before I became a believer, when I was 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 a believer, even as a believer, when I was a believer, when I was a believer, when I was a believer, Alam niyo pa rin ba? O hindi? Hmm? Alam niyo pa rin ba? Yun ito ba o? Hindi. Kayo nakakalam niya. Alright. So yung fellowship produces our mutual cooperation in our worship, in our outreach, in our relationship and discipleship. Okay? So yun ang nangyayari sa loob ng fellowship. So sabi ko, in Acts chapter 2 verse 44, all who believe adhere to and trust it in rely on Jesus Christ. May common denominator which is Jesus Christ. Don't attend or don't have a fellowship to join, don't join a fellowship if the common, okay? If sa pinag-usapan na ay networking, okay? If wala ang panahon doon, ay may something, may problema. 
Okay? Kapag nagkaroon ng gathering, nagkaroon ng gathering, wala man lang pinag-usapan, hindi man lang naitaas ang Panginoon, there is something wrong with that. So sabi dito, in, in verse 44, we're united and they have everything in common. You and I have something in common. You and I have something in common. What it is? Or sino yun? It is Jesus Christ sa buhay ko, sa buhay ninyo, sa buhay ng bawat isa dito. We have something in common. So fellowship is association based upon the sharing of something in common which is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Sabi nga sa 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9 says here, God is faithful who has called you into fellowship with His Son. Okay? That's why it's really important that we are glorifying and by the grace of God, we can be the glory that come to our fellowship because of the fellowship of Jesus Christ with us. However, nowadays, ang nangyayari, especially in time of pandemic, ano nangyayari sa fellowship? Nagiging online. Oo, nagiging Zoom. Wala, there's nothing wrong in online or Zoom or YouTube or Facebook fellowship. But sometimes, this will happen. It will, uh, it will, uh, sabi ito, nagkakaroon ng problema interpersonal sa buhay ng isang mana ng palataya. Kapag nasanay isang mana ng palataya na puro online, 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 hindi ako nakakapag, uh, kamusta, nangyari kayo ito, iba yung ligaya, okay? iba yung encouragement, iba yung something that you join a fellowship compared to sa TV or online. Pagkatapos ng TV, tap, tapos na, okay, balik na. Unlike in a fellowship, you see someone who's really smiling. Smiling nga sa katabi natin. Yeah. Or someone you are having a personal touch. Diba? Uy, kamusta ka ng kapatid? Tell you honestly, it creates an emptiness interpersonally sa buhay natin. Now you may wonder why your life as a believer is getting weaker and weaker. Diba? Pagkatapos, pagkatapos, oh, ang galing ng, ng major na pinapag sa YouTube. Sige, yakapin natin yung TV. Ay, <laughs> Pwede bang gano'n? Diba? Or yung computer natin, oh, yung sarap na lang. Diba? Iba yung kapatid. Ito tapos sa balikan, kapatid, praise God. Diba? So, after worship him, to God be the glory, praise God. Diba? Kung ako yung laging kinigla, tapos hindi maganda yung, no, in terms of, no, iba yung presence sa online, sa personal. That's why Jesus Christ, hindi, hindi nag-online, He came personally. Diba? Diba? Oh, pero hindi siya yung hulog, kasi iba yung hulog. Yung mga yung hulog ng lagi, ano yan? Ang demonyo yun. Ang demonyo yun. Oh, yung hulog ng lagi. Kung sinabi yung papatali, uy, hulog ka ng lagi, uy. Ang hulog ka ng lagi ay mga demonyo. Okay, binagsak. Sabi ng SKL, diba? Ibinghulo sa lagi. Okay, so again, iba yung radians. Iba, totoo ang mga kapatid. May mga kapatid na tayo na nagagalak, hindi, dahil, hindi lang dahil sa dami. Kung hindi nagagalak sila na, Alam mo na ka sa labuha mo, sa'yo kayo ng problema, sa'yo kayo ng trabaho, sa'yo kayo ng edad, kayo, para kaya sa'yo, tapos nakikita mo, busy-busy lang kayo. Kanya rin, uh, young family, busy-busy sa pamilya, kanya rin, tapos nakikita mo siya, eh, ang fresh ni sister, buti ka, buti pa ikaw fresh, di ba kami, ang dami po inasin nila. Pero it's, it's an encouragement. Diba? So that's what is the importance of the fellowship. Nakikita yung radius ng Panginoon sa buhay ng bawat isa. Amen. Diba? Huwag naman tayo pupunta sa fellowship. Huwag naman tayo pupunta sa mga problema sa mga pangyayon. Nasa bumakalan, no? Tapos pagkakit, eh, 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 YT, U, M, M1, okay, M2, Growing Family, ating na, Gold, Gold, uh, Golden, okay, kaya na ating na uh, Young Family, okay, Young Family, I like to, uh, mag-tools kayo sa mga katabi ninyo, kahit ilan, okay, meron akong bass dito, Meron akong bass dito, sino sa inyo, mag-choose kayo, mag-usap-usap na kayo, sino sa inyo, 
ang represent the team na gusto kumunta dito, okay? Pero nang ipapalita sa inyo, yung gusto na sa inyo, kaya I'll give you two minutes, alright? Go, so kung sa gusto ko, kaya hindi na, kaya dalawa, tatlo, apat, wala sa'yo, kumunta. May pasang dito, ipapalita ko sa inyo. Ready? Okay? One, two, dito, 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 pila mo dito, pila. One, two, three, four, five, six,
at our church or life groups or any fellowship that we have in the church, the government and gathering without any receiving the word of God, ang tawag doon, ang malites. Okay? Or hindi lang to eating ng meals. It's not only about eating meals or having one time or sharing one another times or helping one another sometimes. But number one, fellowship is number one. Letter R. You should have relationships. Tandaan natin. Hindi pwede tayo mag-start na ganda ng fellowship without building relationship. Everything that's happening in an activity or a gathering is because of the rich relationship of one another. Tandaan lagi, tandaan lagi. As like the facilitators and one another to, to build relationship. Did Jesus Christ build a relationship with us? Yes, personally. That's why we're able to respond back to Him personally, in a personal level. That's why sa ating mga life groups, build a relationship. Hindi ang pwede yung oh, sabi ng pastor, sabi ng church, pa! Tapos itong papel sa to, hindi po ba ako dito. Build a relationship. From the relationship, from the rich, real relationship you have, it will, it will, ano ka, sasabog doon, or mag, uh, kakala doon yung mag-start ng activity. People will start attending your fellowship because of the relationship. Okay? So that relationship that I'm talking about is, first of all, we should have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Kasi, Mahirap pa tayo mag-establish in, in a relationship, okay, like the same husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend, ang hirap makaroon ng to establish farther if without having intimately knowing each other, especially husband and wife. Okay? So number one, relationship. When you attended a gathering without having relationship, ang tawag na doon, meron kami church activity. Okay? Pero yung church activity natin, nagbumula yan kasi we have a deeper relationship. Okay? So now what happened? That's why when we have a church activity, okay, marami dumadalo o umaten because those were are the one who were have the rich relationship to one another. But importantly, a rich relationship with the Lord. Amen. So fellowship is sharing together in a common life with other believers through relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Walang iba. No other way, no other truth, no other life that we will have except from the life of Jesus Christ in us. So fellowship is first and foremost a relationship. Okay? Rather than an activity. Pag naumpisa natin, kanyari, oh, mag-start kami ng activity, pero without the linear and relationship, it's hard. On the one end. Because sometimes, as life facilitators, as pastors, leaders, you come visit them one-on-one. Okay. Kapit tayo, mia, ane? Mil tayo, parang minsu. Mil tayo, mil, mil na daw, kain tayo, wala na daw. Tipit-tipit na tayo. Tumasa niyo presyo. No? So, yung mga nangyayari activity natin, let's say, for example, yung mga dito, yung mga nangyayari activity natin dito sa church, it's because of the relationship. Hindi kayo mag-respond sa activity. Kung nag-respond kayo sa activity ng church, like let's say kahapon, or yung mga church activity natin, hindi kayo mag-respond doon. Kung mag-respond kayo dahil sa activity lamang, ang bigat mo. Pero kung nag-respond kayo doon, hindi, sige po, kaya nang magawa ko. Wow, kasi meron tayong relationship. Amen. Di ba? Kanya, sabihin sa'yo, sabihin sa'yo ni Pastor Gary, Brother, pwede mo pakibuha kayo ng rest ko ba? Ay! Okay. Ang bigat din. Di ba? Hindi, ibig sabihin kasi may rich relationship. So, brothers and sisters, life group leaders, and one another, build relationship. Amen? Amen. Kaya, para sabihin po, sir, hindi talaga namin kaya mag-build. Well, that's why it's, from that relationship, it starts with love. Okay? So, number two, fellowship is partnership. Okay? Naniniwala ba kayo that fellowship, this fellowship is partnership. Hindi ko pwede gawin ng isang tao lamang. It is, it should have a partner. Okay? That's why sa inyo mga life facilitators, kayo ay partner. Okay? E part of us are part of si Ibanner siya, si Sis Grace. They are partners, di ba? So they worship, in verse 46, it says here, They worship together at the temple. Each day, met in their homes for the Lord's Supper and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. Tandaan natin mga kapatid. In verse 46 says there, shared 
their meals. Meron pang parte. Kapatid, sa pakasabi sa atin natin, meron parte sa kalooban ng Diyos. Yeah. Diba ka pang nag-refresh kayo, yung bring your part? Diba? Ano yung pwede kong i-share? Ano yung pwede kong madala? Ano yung pwede kong ma-share? Hindi pwede si brother, si sister lang, si pastor, si leader lang ang nag-share ng share. Sabi in verse 46, nung time, nung time na yung sabi doon, they, they worship together, together at the temple each day and share their meals with great joy and generosity. Hindi pwede you are in a fellowship tapos ang tawag doon, kuripot. Okay. Hindi pwedeng gano'n. Hindi pwedeng gano'n. Okay? Dapat, you are, you are part of it. Okay? You share. Ano pwede may tutulong mo? Bakit? To share equally the burden ng mga kapatiran. Ito, I'm talking about, I'm talking about your life. Go, or the church as a whole. Kapag nangyayari na sa church, okay, hindi tayo partner dito. Okay? Pagtapos ng service, oh, we are na, we are na, pita, tas we are na. Okay? We are partner. Ang sabi sa ito natin, partner tayo. Okay? Meron parte ang bawat believers sa fellowship ng Panginoon. We have all given a spiritual gift of God. That's why you are partakers of God. Hindi naman pwede puro income na income. Sino dito may business? Or, or sino? Ang nakakalang di ba sa business, may tatawag na sole proprietor, partnership, and incorporation. Di ba? Pag sole proprietor ka or partnership or sole proprietor, mag-isa ka lang. Pag partnership, dalawa kayo, sa business ba, sino ang gusto makapag-business na yung kapartner mo gusto lang income, yung expenses sa'yo? Pwede ba yun? Oo, oh, di ba? Lalo din naman sa kalooban ng Lord, hindi naman pwede puro si pastor lang, si brother, si sister lang yung nakahayo na nakahayo. We have all part of this fellowship with Christ because all of us receive Christ. Okay, hindi naman pwede puro blessing lang kung wala ni sacrifices. Yo, Ayaw na mag-sacrifice ng mga oras, ng time, ng all those things. Okay? Tapos, meron lahat tayong share because we are partakers of Christ. Diba? Kung hindi, mangyari na. Kambing na naman tayo na. Okay? Kambing na naman tayo na. Diba? Alright. So, tignan natin itong in the Bible, in Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 5. Okay? Meron ba? In Luke chapter 5, tignan natin yung partnership of, of Peter, James, and John. Kung ano nangyari ng time na yun. This is the calling of Jesus' discipleship. Yung tinawag na Panginoon si Peter, si Andrew, at si John, okay, nangingisda sila. Ito yung time na kung saan, wala sila makuunista. At siya ang Panginoon, ilan ko ninyo yung inyong net, okay, at pagkatapos ng kayo ay makakuha ng Maraming isda, sobrang daming isda. At ang yari niya, masayang ko, in Luke 5, verse 7, says here, So they motion, <coughs> So they motion to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. Kapatid, we are partakers or we are partners here in the ministry. In your life, folks, in this church, or in the body of Christ. Okay? Not only in this church, but in the body of Christ. Okay? So what do we mean with, with that? In this church, we are partakers. If we see someone are in need, what should we do? Hmm? Tulong. Para sabi, tulong. tulong. Yun na nga eh, pasuri. Tulong na namin ng tulong. Sobrang dami na namin ng tulong. Tulong. Okay? Imbis sa tulong, tulong na. Okay? Sobrang dami na. Pag meron, when we see someone in need in a fellowship in the church, we should help one another. Not only in this church, but in the body of Christ. Not only in this church, outside of the church. If you see someone in, as a brother and sister, sabi ni Galatians, uh, Galatians chapter 6, diba? Tulungan natin yung mga, especially in the body of, believe, in the body of believers. Sabi doon, And they came and, and filled both boats so that they were about to sink. James, John, were Simon's business partner. Sila yung magkakasama, mga imisda sila. Diba? Even before they were disciples. Okay. As I said, lagi kong sinasabi, gagabi lang, I just sent this one. Philippians chapter 1 verse 3 to 5, it says there, Every time I think of you, I thank God for you are being partners with me in ministering, in sharing the good news to others. Everyone, you are partners here. 
Sabi nung, for you have been my partners in spreading the good news about Christ from the time you first heard it until now. So, any good partnership or the partnership equally, hindi pwedeng pagambang ka, pag mabigat sa isang side, ano mangyayari? Lulubog. Diba? Lulubog. Hindi pwedeng yung isa lang ang share ng share. Lulubog. Lulubog. Diba? Sabi nga doon, Sit down, sit down, you're rocking the bubble. So, hindi pwedeng puro, hindi pwedeng ka, Uh, puro blessing na lang without sharing the hardship or the suffering and the sacrifices of one another. Both the privileges and responsibility or the assets and liabilities, the blessing and the burdens, dapat sinishare natin partners tayo sa Panginoon. Amen? Alright. In 2 Corinthians 8, verse 13-15, tingnan nyo itong verse ito. Itong verse ito, it speaks about to share equally in the church. Hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng bigay na ng bigay without having o yung hanggang sa naubusa na. Of course, I don't mean your giving should make life easy for others and hard for yourself. In terms of giving, in terms of sharing, in the life group or in the fellowship or in the church, I only mean that there should be some equality. Kapag nangyari ng puro ng si brother, si sister, si pastor, si leader, si kapatid na ganito na lang, ang puro tayo na lang, ano mangyayari? There will be inequality or burn up. So right now, you have plenty and can help those who are in need. Later, they will have plenty and can share with you when you need it. Hindi pwedeng kabig lang ng kabig. Okay? Hindi pwedeng kabig lang ng kabig. Dapat, meron din lumalabas. Kung ano yung pumapasok, dapat lumalabas din. Okay? In this way, this will be equal. As the scripture says, those who gathered a lot had nothing left over, and those who gathered only a little had enough. So ito ay balance eh. In a church, it should be a balance. Nakamita na ba kayo dito sa church na kung saan ay yung isang kapatid na sobrang ubod ng yaman? May nakita na ba yun? Bakit alam dito sa church na may kapatid na yung ubod ng yaman? Hindi ako yun. Ibig sabihin natin dito, di ba? Dapat balanse. Hindi pwede yung puro kabig lang ng kabig. Dapat balanse. Okay? Amen? Okay? So, again ha. Fellowship is? Partnership. Parang daw? Tapos lang. Fellowship is? Stewardship. Kapag hindi nyo nakita sa isang fellowship ninyo, ito dapat nagmamalipas sa buwan ng isang oras sa isang fellowship na mayroong relationship, mayroong partnership, at mayroong stewardship. When we say stewardship, ito yung pangangalaga. Whatever we have is not ours. Amen. Amen. Our life is ours or not? No. no. We are bought with a high price. With the life and blood of Christ we shed at the cross. Yung mga possession natin, ate ba o hindi? No. Pastor, pinagirapan ko yun eh. No. Nutan ko yun, pastor eh. Nag-refinance no. kami eh. Ate ba yun o hindi? Technically, hindi atin yun. Pinamangakala lang sa atin. Okay? You are only managers. Okay? Steward. Katiwala lang ang tao. This relationship that we have is not mine. Ito. This church is not mine. Either to anyone. That's why if pumunta din sa church or fellowship, sabi ko kayo pumunta doon, dito na kayo. Wait, hindi rin doon. Tandaan natin, kahit sa kayo pumunta, you are in the body of Christ. Okay? A believer ha. You are in the body of Christ. So, hindi pwedeng sabihin ng isang pastor or anyone na magpumunta na. Okay? Bawal yun. Okay? Accept ko talaga ang culto yun. Okay? Pero, I don't own you. Neither you. Diba? So, hindi ko kayo magpamayari, mga kapatid. I did not pay for your salvation. So, I don't have the right to say na, or ang pinin yung mga bagay-bagay dito. Diba? 
All I am is a steward, a shepherd, a steward, mga kapatid. And ganun din tayo. A steward of our life, of our health, okay, of our uh, blessings, or whatever we have. So when the Lord asks, tanda natin yung the donkey, when the Lord asks, nahihirapin yung donkey para sa kanya, anong ginawa? The owner give it away. Sige po, sa kanya ninyo. Okay? So whatever the Lord spill for your life, ang dapat sabihin natin, your will be the Lord. Pwede yung paloob. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 2. It says here, look at this one. Be shepherds. This speaks about the leaders in the church. Okay? Like the facilitators. As an LG leaders or shepherds of your flock that God has assigned to you, be shepherds of God's flock that's under your care. Watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing as God wants you to be. Not pursuing this honest gain, but eager to serve. Not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being an example to the class. So mga kapatid, ano man yung meron sa atin ngayon, okay? we are just a steward of what the Lord has blessed us. What we have, we are only steward, willing to let go for the purpose and the glory of God. Your time, your talent and treasure, if it's for the glory of God, let go. Let go mga kapatid. In verse 45, it says there, okay, and they sold their possessions, both their land and property and their movable goods. Para saan? And they distributed it to the, the price among all according as any had needed. Nabangit sa YouTube before, di ba? Yung maliit pa ako, 7 years old or 9 years old ako na, may pinunta ang sanay ko. Nag-i-enjoy sana ito. Sabi nung ano, Uy Mars, binenta namin lahat ng mga aririan namin, yung alahas namin, and binigay namin ito sa isang church. Kasi sabi ng Bible, yung sinasabi sa amin, ibigay daw. Now, ito kayo, ito sa sabi na ibenta niyo yung mga aririan ninyo. But if God says to you, okay, to share this, to sell this, okay, for the glory, for the purpose of, of God, do it. Bakit? Kasi, it's not ours. We are only steward. But the lady in there. Well, let's go. And so we in verse 46. And they after they, they regularly assembled in the temple with united purpose, and their homes they broke bread. And they partook of their food with gladness and simplicity and generous hearts. Because when you have a generous heart, if you know that whatever you have is not yours, it will be easy to share. It will be hard to share to other, okay, if inaakin mo yung tiyatawag natin na entitlement. Okay. Pag sabi mo, amin yan eh, amin yan eh, ang hero i-share na. Pero kung alam mo, ang Lord ang nagpamayari na, ang daling i-share, tama? Di ba? O oh, sige, ganito na lang. May pinatabi ako sa inyong pera. Ano yan? Eh, Pastor Gary, Pastor Gary, kasi yung 500 dollars. May namun, ay, <laughs> di ba? 500 dollars, tapos may namun na si Father Joel. Pastor, pautang naman, ay, hindi. Okay. Minsan madali, di ba? Ang dali, ipanirap, hindi sa atin. That's what's happening in our life. If we are considering our life is not ours, ang dali, ipagamit sa pangalan, ang dali, ipigay. But if we are having our entitlement, di ba, kung di Lord, ako ito eh. Pinagirap ako ito eh. Ako ito, ako ito. Yung buhay, ako ito. Degree. Ako ito eh. Di ba? Ang hirap yun ito. But if you are considering yourself as a steward only, it will be easy to let go anything. Even children, even our children, we are only steward of the little children that God has entrusted to us. But if it's hard to let go, we are tied down and tied down men. So the panagahan of the fellowship, it's like the charcoal. Okay? Some of this fellowship that we discuss is from the LG1. LG1, the discussion of it, right? Is it No, this is from this Mitch. No? Kalahan ng fellowship is, it's like a charcoal. Okay? Pag inalis mo yung isang baga sa, sa bagaan, sa mabagang bagaan. Okay? Doon sa dad, sa pagbabagang apoy na yan, sa party na yan, ano mangyari? Nalalamig, mamamatay, wala na makinaba. Mas maganda, ilagay natin yan sa mga nagbabaga, ano mangyari? Mas? Marami. Diba? Mas iinit. 
Pero kung sineset na ayos na yung sabihin natin, ayaw ko natin sa fellowship, online na lang kami. Mag-sustain ko ako maraming kay Justin kasi puro online, online tapos na direct. Pinaprasa ka. Abangan ko na lang naman. Huwag ganun nga kapatid. Yes, there's nothing wrong in online, okay? But try to have devoted priority, given priority. Okay? That's why we encourage one another. Pag sama-sama ang inam, nag-iinit, ibabaga, pag mag-isa lang yan, anong nangyayari? Nanalamig. Kasi mawatay na. O, anong nangyayari na? Anong nangyayari sa chok? Nagawin lang mo na lang. May pang-marking na lang. Diba? So, katulad sa Acts, sa Pinto verse 44, they devoted themselves into fellowship. Yung, yung, yung priority natin. Kapatid, what is your priority in life? To gain more or to have a fellowship with one another? Alam niyo yung baga na ito, katulad ito sa ship. Balikan natin natin. Parang sabi ko sa akin natin, Hello, ship. Hello, ship. It is similar to the 99 parable. Or the 100 parable. Or the 99 parable ng Panginoon Jesus. Sabi niya, if a man have a hundred sheep and lost the one, will he leave the ninety-nine and look for the one? Yes. Kayo, ano ba ang gabili niyo? You have ninety, you have one hundred. Isa na wawala. Will you leave the ninety-nine and look for the one? Uh, parang irrational yun, parang hindi makataba. Kasi mas marami yung majority dito eh. Mas marami yung maliligtas dito. Kasi iwanan yung isa. But the question here, the ninety-nine are already saved. Or the ninety-nine are already formed. They're already in a safe haven or in a comfortable, but that one, delicado, vulnerable, are more prone to the attacks of the enemy. Kaya mga kapatid, this is why we're having this life of fellowship. It's to look for the one. Huwag kayong matuwa. Huwag kayong matuwa. Dahil po, ang dami na namin is instead, look for the one. Sino yung one na yan? Could be Filipino community. Si one. Sabi sa John chapter 10, pag hinanap ng Panginoon yung isang nagkinawawal ng tupa, John chapter 10, okay, it says there, I am, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep knows me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. Lahat kayo dito, nanong dito, you didn't come for a tent because of your own effort. Hindi. No one stay in a fellowship because of your own effort. It is because God calls you into His fellowship. It is God who called us, not by our own words. Kung sinabi natin, hindi, Pastor, kung tao talaga, kung magsa. No. It is God who called you, who knock on you. Okay? It is God who called you, called you into His fellowship. And if God called you, if you are His sheep, you will follow, you will obey, you will hear His word. And God will never let you go. So sabi ko, I must bring them also. And they too, I have other sheep that are not in this sheep pen. I must bring them also. So alam ng Diyos na hindi lang ito yung 99 na ito, hindi lang ito. Naniniwala ba kayo na kayo lang ang fellows, ang mga kapatiran dito sa church na ito? Hindi. Hindi. Ang dami sa labas. Ang dami sa Nova Scotia. That's why sabi ko, No, we know Scotia. Gusto niyo go? Gusto niyo? So my ship listens to my voice. I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life. <coughs> Look at this picture. Living the 99 seems irrational, illogical, and senseless until ma-realize natin na yung isa na yun ay ako yan. Ako din niyang kapatid. Kaya huwag kayo makatumili to share God's word, to look for the one sa inyong fellowship. Huwag kayo maging kampante na tayo-tayo lamang dito. Actually, to look for the one, there should something to happen. Letter O, outreach. Huwag kayo masanay na tayo-tayo lang. Kayo-kayo lang sa live group, sa youth, sa young family, sa M1, M2. Okay? So you grow up and you know, you have to have outreach. But tandaan natin, before you have outreach, you should have relationship. Okay? Hindi pwede tayo makahalap ng isa if hindi tayo aalis. Amen? That's why living the 99 seems irrational, illogical, senseless until that one is you. Kapag nangyari siya na, 
kung ano, kung hindi ako in-invite ni brother ni Jesus, kung hindi ako pinagtagaan, well, then first of all, it is God who brought you. Okay? Ginamit lamang yung mga kapatiran. Gagamitin lamang tayo kayo ng Panginoon to look for that one. Are you excited for that one? Yes. So, next week, bring one, win one. Pwede? Dalawa yun. Bring one, win one. See? Isa na yung dalawa ka. Diba? In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25, an encouragement and invitation into a fellowship. It says here, Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting. Pakisabi nga, mga tatabi natin. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do. But encourage one another, especially now that the day of His return is drawing near. How would you feel if tomorrow, okay, or one week na lang, nagugunaw na ang mundo? Of course, ang dami sa fellowship. Itong church ito, punong-puno ito. Ang bawat church siguro, punong-puno. But sometimes, yung value of knowing Christ, walang value sa buhay ng mga bawat kapatid. Kaya hindi binibigyan ng halaga in encouraging one another. So as in your life goes, in this church, let's encourage one another. Give them priority into a fellowship. Huwag lang puro online. Okay? Kaya wala yung online natin, no? Hindi, hindi, hindi. May technical natin na aalim sa online natin. Alright? Wala yung online natin. Kasi hindi tayo makating. Alright. So fellowship is not just gathering of people for activity. Fellowship must manifest, ano? Relationship. Partnership and stewardship. Dapat niya nakikita sa atin. Una muna, relationship mga kapatid ha. In your life goals, in this fellowship, relationship ang nauuna. Hindi dito natatapos mga kapatid. Hindi pa ang tapos. Alam ito, ano ito? Into pa lang tayo. Ayaw niyo na? Ay, ayaw niyo nila? Hindi dito natatapos ang fellowship. A prodigy or close aspect of uh, Martin Luther led to a reformation of Christian Church in 1500. His name is Philip Melanchthon. He says this, Fellowship is, ito dapat ang hindi natin sa fellowship, ang laki hindi natin dapat. In essentials, we have unity. Okay? In non-essentials, we have liberty. And in all things, we have charity. Sa inyo na pansin yan? Natatanda niya? Saan nyo lang pansin ito? Hmm? Saan nyo lang pansin na? Two joints. Two joints. Saan nyo lang pansin na? Hmm? Di ba yan yung aking nasa below to the family about this fellowship? Na ang church na ito, okay, explain sa inyo ah, yung fellowship na ito, hindi ito, we are not, we are not, ah, uh, and then, hindi tayo pinapatakbo ng rules ng church nito. And what does it mean? Okay? Hindi po rung dapat, 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 dapat. Okay? It's more about in essentials or the primary doctrine or belief, we should have unity. Unity dapat tayo dyan. In non-essentials, we should have liberty. Ano yung mga bagay na ito? And in all things, we should have charity. Pag-usapan natin ito. Look at this. Our statement of faith. This is our statement of faith. Yan yung nakalagay dun sa bilang ng family. If you attended a membership class sa church, okay, nakalagay dyan. In, in this church, kaya mapapansin nyo na, ah, kaya pala ganun. Okay, pag-usapan natin. In essential belief, or the primary doctrine, dapat iisa tayo dyan. Pag tayo sa primary doctrine pala, sabi ko nga sa inyo, iisa pala ko nagtatod sa akin, umatin sila ng church, sabi sa akin, Pastor, ano ang statement of faith ng church? Iisa pala ka. The rest, wala mo nagtatanong. Yung matay yung kapatid lang nato, sabi niya, Pastor, tingnan ko muna yung statement of faith. Mahala mo mahala ngayon. If I were to move, okay, or if you were to move to someone else, okay, or to other church, other place, okay, you have to look for a statement of faith. Wag naman kayo atin ng church na kung saan hindi natin alam, puno yung mali ang mana ng palataya, yung mali ang pinaniniwalaan. Okay? So yung ating primary doctrine, we should have, we are should, we should be united. Dapat iisa tayo dyan. Ano yung primary doctrine natin? Sino na kaalam? Sino? Hmm. Eh, 
example of this one. Yung primary dog din namin na, 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 yan, number one, nakalagay ko saan? Saan na makikita to? Pag-fish. Yan. Isa pa. Saan makikita to? Sa? Saan? Pakilang saan? Sa Bible. Sa Bible yan. Pero sa website ito ha? Okay, yan ha? So, sa website ito ha? Pero lahat ng iyan, okay? Pag yan yung nakalagay lamang ginawa lang yan, ni Brother Kayo, Brother Kayo kumuha na. Okay. Pag yan ay ginawa lang ng isang tao, yan ay doctrine ng tao na yun. Pero lahat ng ito, lahat ng ating statement of faith, lahat ng pinaniwala ng Allah, lahat ng ating pananaparataya ay nakabase sa salita ng Diyos. Kaya ang sinasabi doon, makabilis sa isang sa una, yung ating core statement that we believe that the Bible is scripture of God. Okay? The Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Deity, Godhead of Christ, The, the virginal, virginal conception of Jesus Christ and the literal physical resurrection of Jesus Christ and number six, salvation by grace through faith. Okay, pakita sa isa. Yan. Ito yung basic doctrine na dapat lahat tayo nagkakaisa tayo dito. So, tingnan nyo muna. Nagkakaisa ba tayo dyan, mga kapatid? Pag nagkaroon kayo ng life profession nyo, itanong nyo, deeper and deeper. Ano ba stand? Ano ba yung ano natin dito? Ano ba? Stand natin dito. Kasi bakit? Later down the road, magkakaroon kayo ng problema. Okay? This is our primary doctrine. That the inspiration, the scripture is the word of God. Nothing else. Kaya sabi natin sa nanggaling ating station of faith, it's a Bible. The Holy Trinity. May iba, samahan, the only believing God, not in Jesus Christ. So, mga mga punta kayo doon. Uy, ito po. Oh. Ay sinasabi ng Bible, John chapter 14 verse 6, that I am the way, the truth, and the life, that no one comes to the Father except Jesus Christ. The deity, garden of Christ, the virginal conception of, of Jesus Christ. Totoo yan, because He's fully God and He's fully man. Concept by the Spirit of God. The literal, physical resurrection of Christ. If you don't still believe about the resurrection of Christ, wala ko tayo Walang, walang salvation, walang hope. And salvation by grace through faith alone. Not our works. We should have one on that. So, ito ang kamalan nila. In the sense of belief, we have unity. Punta tayo sa pangalawa. In the sense of, in non-essential belief, we have liberty. Ano ito yung mga non-essential? Ito na. Sige, pag-usapan natin non-essential. Non-essential things that include in our statement of faith, hindi yan nakalagay dun sa, dun sa website natin. Okay? Hindi yan nakalagay dun. These are fall into the area of non-essential. Hindi ibig sabihin nito hindi na mahalaga ang mga bagay nito. Mahalaga ito, but this is not pertaining to our salvation. Okay? Linawin ko ha, kung ano yung mga bagay na ito. Ano yung mga bagay na ito? They are depending on the clarity of scriptural teaching on any given subject. So believers or believers should show humility and understanding to those holding different perspectives. Ano example nito? Pastor, ano po Bible version na dapat ginagamit ng church? Di ba? Magkakaiba tayo ng Bible version. So we show liberty. Hindi ba yun? Di ba yun? Pastor, hindi ko magamit ko ng ano, NLT o King James ng akin o hindi ko lang Liberty, kapatid, ayahan natin, ayahan natin. Ano bang example? Pagkain! Sabi ni Pastor, dapat daw, bilit tayo na ngayon tayo. Pastor, oh! Parang bakit tayo ng porso mo ng sabo. Pastor, oh! Diba? Diba? Ano bang example nito? Ano bang example? The matters of... It's a... May non-essential liberty, uh, non-essential belief. Ito yun, it's a matter of conscience, a matter of conviction, and a matter of choice ng isang ng bawat kapatiran. Nakarating ko nga daw, sabi doon is, yung damit. Kung yan, pag, nag, pag church pa tayo, kailangan naka-slacks. Di ba, mayroon ganun mga samahan ako sa uwi. Kailangan na pala, mapabubok. Mapabubok ang dati. O, aso, umisin na ngayon. Kaya ito nalang pinapakapak. Okay. Di ba? Even in the Bible, Peter and Paul have this agreement about circumcision. Galatians chapter 2, verse 11 to 16. Nagkaroon sila na hindi pagkakunawan about circumcision. Kapag ganun na nga si Christ, ano mangyayari? Division. Pero hindi nilagay natin na, in primary doctrine, tayo ay iisa. Okay ha? Sa non-essential belief, tayo ay we give liberty. 
Pero be careful about this. Ano bang example nito? Okay? Anong bagong version? Types and offerings. Hindi tayo pa-repairs ng, ano dyan, di ba? Di ba? Si Seth, di ba? Hindi pa-repairs ng bigay, di ba? Ano? Ano? Ibig sabihin, may iba, may 10%, may 20%, may 100%. Uy, praise God. Di ba? May ano cheerful giving. Hindi pwede sabihin natin, Uy, mga kapatid, sabi na malaki natin, three ten, give the ten percent. Sabi ng same person after number seven, give cheerfully. Ano doon ang dapat talaga? Or certain spiritual gifts. Sometimes may ibang churches ang saan kailangan ka pa sila. Pag wala kang spiritual gifts, speaking tongues, hindi ka pwede dito, hindi ka pwede sa prayer fellowship, pag hindi ka pwede sa kaya talagang speaking tongues. Ang hirap naman ito. Diba? About political affiliation. Dapat isa lang tayo. Ilang liberty, diba? Diba? Ah, okay, may nakita akong nakapigit na ito. Kakapigit, kakapigit sa sana ka rin. Oh, this is death. Alright. Diba? How about social drinking? Diba? How about that? Bigyan ko yung example. Sige, huwag sa kapalas itong social drinking position. Pa, sir, ano pong position? Ano pong position ng church about social drinking? Ako sa pag-inom. Pwede ba o hindi? Ha? Pwede o hindi? Yes or no? Depende on the conscience. Depende on the conscience. Liberty. Okay. Every time you are deciding on something matters, kasi nga we show liberty. In any essential belief, if no one has essential belief, we have liberty. Look to Romans chapter 14. Look. Hindi look ha. Hindi look. Look, tingnan ninyo. Okay? Romans chapter 14 verse 20 says here, Don't tear apart the word of God over what you eat. But because this fellowship isn't a matter of eat or drinking or what we wear, it's a matter of the salvation that Christ has given us. So sinabi dito, remember, all foods are acceptable. But it is wrong to eat if something makes another person stumble. Paso mo lang inundo na. Sa baba meron niya. It is better not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything else if it might cause another believer to stumble. Malinaw. So ala, anong nista na yung church? Ano yung standard church dito? Sabi dito. So it, it means to say, okay, kanyari meron kayong social gallery. Kung mag-asawa kayo, yun na nakagawin nyo. Socially, okay? Medicinally. Okay? Hindi ko siya, hindi ko in-encourage siya. If you're going to ask me, mas may inang hindi. Okay? Pero kung sasabihin nyo, sa live groups, may live groups, okay? Live groups, kung usapan natin, uy, may umotin na live groups, bago, tapos nag-iinuman kayo na istambul. Sabi nyo, verse 14, it is better for you na itapon if you cause anyone of this to stumble. So sabi nyo, tuloy natin sa verse. Tuloy natin. Next verse. Sabi nyo, verse 22, you may believe there's nothing wrong with what you are doing, but keep it to yourself and God. If you think that, I'll give you an example. Kunyari, um, ano ba example? Kunyari, uh, drinking or or eating ng sobrang dami, hindi naman maganda yun, di ba? Hindi maganda yun sa kanong sobrang ninyo. Oo, no? Um, dapat yung mga sup-sup lang. O, huwag na lang kung mga sup lang. O, para sabay-sabay tayo sa sup-sup. Um, you may believe that there's something wrong with what you eat or what you're doing between, between yourself and God. Dapat, if you feel guilty about it, there's something wrong about it. That's the conviction of God of you. That's the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Kaya, may hindi pala kayo, Ano mali yun? Mali na talaga yan, for sure. If you feel guilty about it, something wrong na yan. Sabi yan, but if you have doubts about whether or not you should eat something, you are seeing if you go ahead and do it. For you are not following your conviction. Ano yung conviction? It comes from the Holy Spirit. Condemnation comes from the enemy. But conviction, as a believer of Christ, ito na yung nararamdaman mo na ako sana eh. Nung nagkaroon ng Diyos sa buhay mo, nalalaman mo na kung ano yung tama at mali talaga. Dati alam yung mali, mali. Pero yung tama, ginagawa mong mali. Pero ngayon, alam mo yung mali, mali, yung tama, dapat tama. So sabi niya, if you do anything you believe is not right, you are sinning. It is about your conviction, not of okay. it. So tapos na yung ating pag-usap uh, about social drinking. Okay? So, I will just encourage, okay, in your life books, okay, 
or in your personality. Okay? If someone may cause it to stumble, yes, actually, there are some brothers and sisters in the church that in mean, uh, Pastor, medyo nakakasakit ng loob yun eh. May perish, may ganyan, tapos may inuman. Di ba? Okay? So, let's move on. So, ganun, ulitin natin ha. If you consider it a sin or you have doubt, it is, it's strong. Ano mang bagay yan? Okay? Magsuot na kayo ng mga mamahaling gamit. Okay? Tapos sabihin mo, hindi, ano, awkward? There's something wrong. Sige, yun lang kay Jacob. Please, Jacob, kasi natin. No, so ganun din na, hindi lang no drinking. Anything that we consider something wrong, something is wrong talaga. Amen? Ang buti ng Holy Spirit sa buhay natin, no? Yung paglagala ka tayo sa the Holy Spirit, it will make you selfless. At kung nagalakad ka without the selfish ambition sa buhay mo, nakakaroon ka ng bunga. Kaya nakakaroon ka ng bunga ng isang tao. So sabi, pakato, in all things we show charity. Kasi ang mahalaga mga kapatid. Sa lahat sa fellowship natin, we should show charity. Ano taga ang other version ng charity? Love. Love. Alala ko sa nung Bible o Olympics. Ano ito ng charity na yun? In other version, it's show charity. That is, another meaning is love. In all things, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of it, of those are, is love. Sa fellowship, hindi, we are not governed by rules. Tapos, ganito, ganito, ganito. Okay, no. Kung ang mga bagay, number one, we have unity in our doctrine. Pangalawa, we show liberty. Kaya bilang isang life of leader, dapat... Okay? Tanggalan nyo talagang ipinag-garasan ipinag, mo sa pangalang lahat talaga. Kasi sometimes you may not able to accept it yet. Parang po sir, mabigat pa sa akin yung mga ganun mga bagay dito. But pangat pa sabi doon, show love. No? In 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 says, Training will last forever, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of this is love. At sinabi natin dito, <coughs> Relationship, so now I'm giving you a new commandment, Love each other just I have loved you, so you should love each other. Diba? Yan yung sinasabi na, Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. Okay, mga kapatid. So, Turning to all the leaders of this church, okay, or the life groups in our fellowship, or your life groups, start this relationship. Okay. <coughs> Partnership and discipleship. So, what is the result of fellowship? So, ngayon, anong result ang ngayon ng fellowship in verse 47? Tingnan natin. Constantly, if we are having a fellowship, kaya don't, huwag kayong susuko sa fellowship. Don't ever hold back. Huwag kayong susuko, huwag kayong panghinaan. Ano may mangyayari, don't hold back. But move forward. Sabi niya, constantly praising God and being in favor and goodwill with all the people. And ano nangyayari? And the Lord kept adding, if you are obediently, okay, kung hindi nasa isa niya, Lord, the Lord will add people into your fellowship. The Lord kept adding daily those who were being saved. So that is the fruit of the fellowship. Hindi makakaroon ng buong fellowship if ang corporate lamang is tayo-tayo lamang dito. Amen? So again, we encourage you all, fellowship is not just a group of activity. It is where you have family. Feel you by the Lord and family. Para dito na yung sumagod. Dito pinsan ko kayo. Mga uh, pinsan ko. Pinsan. Uh, yung mga doon two hands. Uh, pinsan ka daw lang na natin. Uh, do you believe that we are in a family? Yes. Okay. That's why, you know, when you are staying or if you're choosing, choosing a church, you feel that you are in a family. Lalo sa Canada. Ang layo sa mga pamilya. Di ba? This is where sabi ko nga, yung mga kayo-kayo na, ang mga tito-tita. Di ba? Lolo-lola. Magpipinsan na yung mga, yeah. yung mga We are called brothers and sisters Yung mga ating mga granny At yung mga mommy, daddy, lolo, tatay Diba? So it is where you have family Where you have relationship And you are part of it Cheerfully looking after it Mga kapatid I'd like to call our worship team Did 
di kota Bos. Bos boleh bos. Haawi tadi. Jadi orang saya tidak mau. Sabi di sana, in Isaiah 53 verse 6, we all like sheep have gone astray each us each of us has turned to our own way and the Lord has laid him in iniquity of us all kapatid don't come to support ang fellowship na meron kayo right now nag-start pa lamang tayo nag-start pa lamang kayo at mag-i-start pa lamang kayo para sabi sa katabi natin mag-i-start pa lamang tayo Nag-i-start pa lamang tayo. Huwag susuko. Alam niyo yung kagalakalagaan sa isang ship? Sa isang fellowship? Look at this one. As a ship, okay, you have nothing to lose and nothing to prove. Tandaan natin, wala tayo dapat na ipagmalaki or or ikabawas sa buhay natin. Bakit? Because a ship always depends on the great shepherd, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. So, tandaan natin mga kapatid, sa Ricardo's Pen, in Hebrews chapter 13, or 3 verse 13, you must warn each other every day while it is still today. Kasi hindi natin alam kung ano yung meron bukas. Hindi natin alam kung magkakasama-sama pa tayo sa araw na bukas. So, while it's still today, we encourage one another that none of you will be deceived by sin and hardness against God. Ito lang sa mga life leaders, pakisulat nito mga kapatid. Just a question to founders and new life books. How do we have the kind of fellowship that encourages, edifies, and serve one another? And number two, how do we find the strength, the wisdom, and the courage to have to Fellowship. Love 